schooly YouTubers bought me a short bus a few weeks ago. I've got it out the inside. Right now, it's a little messy. But I've got it out the inside. I just got done caulking some stuff. And so, I've been dealing with window latches. Broken window latches. In fact, here's a good example. Broken window latch. All the way broken inside. And this piece, that doesn't do anything because it broke off. That's the Plastic Thomas window latches on most 90s buses. Now, I came up with a good solution, and that is this little piece right here. I've seen a lot of people's videos on how they fix these pieces, and I just figured I'd put my little video of how I did it. So, I took a piece of metal from one of the side pieces from the wall right here, and I chopped it off at the proper width to go inside this groove. Now, on these latches, all you gotta do is get this piece of metal to stick right inside of here. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Now the old pieces look like this. So now, this piece goes right here, and that's how it works. I'm just basically making a different new version of this out of metal. Out of the metal that I got from the bus. So, you take this piece and you put it down inside here. When you get it to show on this side, you just take your piece right here and you get it right up underneath that lip and then it pops right in, no problem. Now, I've got this curve right here to keep it stuck up underneath this little piece so that way it doesn't pull out and you've got it to where it moves no problem so at the end we're gonna push it out we're gonna add the springs so this way we can see it work now, spring number one, spring number two, now it's in there, now we get this pushed down underneath this lip, and it works just like any other school bus window, and it's substantial, this is the steel from the side of the bus, so it's not going anywhere. Now show you full on how I did it. Take those springs out. Pull this nice little mechanism out. Now, on this piece, it's bent, it's curved on the one side right here. That piece has to be skinny enough to go into this piece right here. So that's the main key to get your correct thickness so that it moves inside and then get your correct thickness width of it to go into the tip. Now once you get that, you need it long enough to make a handle right here in the middle, which is just a couple of bends, and then you need this bent on the other end to keep it inside this groove. Once you've got that, you've got a full brand new handle, and it shouldn't break. It's made of steel, galvanized steel, so it won't rust either. So there you go, it's yet another schoolie conversion tip for YouTubers. I hope that y'all have a good day.